Details tonight about the arrest of a Granite Hills High School teacher on suspicion of sexual misconduct. Gerald Lopez was fired from the school in El Cajon earlier this year. ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala is live with what she's been able to learn about the teacher. Mimi? Hi, Kimberly. Yeah, and the district says they immediately took action once they were made aware of those allegations against that teacher and they put him on leave back in June. And then yesterday they learned from El Cajon police that he had been arrested. The Grossmont Union High School District notified parents of allegations of misconduct against a Granite Hills High School teacher on June 14th. The district said it immediately notified law enforcement. Wednesday, August 3rd, El Cajon police say they arrested former Granite Hills teacher, 54-year-old Gerald Lopez. She always seemed like the fun teacher and stuff. A student who asked us to disguise their voice and not show their face says some weren't surprised by the arrest. Even before the arrest, everyone was like pinpointing it was Mr. Lopez because like he left summer school early. I can't believe like I ever like talked to that guy like he seemed like the next door neighbor type. The San Diego County District Attorney's Office says he's out on bail and is expected in court for an arraignment next week. According to a profile on the school's website, Lopez taught English, was the department chair and coached football. He's now facing felony and misdemeanor charges, including possession of obscene material of a minor in a sexual act, harmful matters sent with the intent to seduce a minor, and annoy or molest a victim under the age of 18. Things were quiet Thursday at Granite Hills High School as the school year has yet to begin. In a statement Wednesday evening, a district spokesperson said they learned of the arrest late in the afternoon, adding, quote, There is nothing more important to us than the safety of our students. We condemn all acts of sexual misconduct, take all such allegations very seriously, and are committed to taking swift and appropriate action to ensure the safety of our students, just as we've done in this case. I never thought this would happen to, like, our school. And police say at this point there is only one victim that they are aware of right now. They declined to comment any further on this investigation. We're live in El Cajon tonight. Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News. Thank you for that update, Mimi.